Don't forget, I'm gonna be asking a question later on in the video, and if you answer below in the comments section, you're gonna be entered into a draw for a chance to win a Banish kit. Don't pick your skin, pick Banish. Hi everybody, it's me, Samantha, AKA Vegan Acne Sufferers. I'm back with another exciting video for you. So most of us are probably just thrown into skincare. Most of us probably didn't grow up being taught this is how you clean and take care of your skin. Most of us developed skin problem, a problem like acne or sunspots or maybe it was just wrinkles and we just started realizing I need to take better care of my skin. To be honest, when I was younger, I didn't really wash my face or put much thought into washing my face. I just kind of scrubbed it in the shower with my shampoo, with my bar of soap that I washed the rest of my body with. So I didn't put much thought into it. And then so when we're forced into taking better care of our skin or at least interested in taking better care of our skin, we dive head first right into it and we end up maybe getting ahead of ourselves and making a little bit of mistakes in our skincare routine. So here are some common mistakes that are bad for your skin, that are causing damage to your skin that you definitely need to stop doing. The first one is sleeping in your makeup. Maybe some of you don't do this. Good for you if you don't, pat yourself on the back for that. But a lot of people still do sleep in their makeup. We forget, we're too tired, we're too lazy, we're drunk. Whatever the reason, a lot of people still don't take their makeup off before they go to bed and then they sleep with that makeup on their face and that dead skin and the sebum and the dirt and the airborne pollutants that attach to your skin throughout the day. All of that just sits on their skin all night long. They sleep on their pillowcases. They don't change their pillowcases. Their pillowcases transfer all that gunk the next night. So even when they do wash their skin, it's still doing damage. Oh, it's just terrible. That's a big mistake. All of those things that sit on your face during the day that you don't wash off at night when you go to bed, they are going to kind of fester inside your pores and just create the perfect environment for acne to thrive, for acne causing bacteria to get in there and be like, this is my home now. Which brings me to my next major, 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 major common mistake people make that makes their acne 100% worse, <laughs> okay, maybe not 100%, but pretty bad, is not cleaning your makeup brushes. I see this a lot and I get it. I get why there is not enough people washing their makeup brushes because washing makeup brushes is time consuming and you have to do it so often and it's super annoying and you have to use your favorite cleanser on it because then you have to go buy another cleanser. I know, but trust me when I say that your acne will thank you if you keep on top of cleansing those brushes. Anything you're using on your skin, eyeshadow brushes, lipstick brushes, but especially the foundations, the sponges, the brushes, any type of thing you're using on your face needs to be clean when you're putting it on your face. When I was having really terrible acne and I was using my makeup brushes every single day, I had to keep them clean because I noticed it right away. And to be honest, I'm breaking out a little bit and I think it's because I used my sponge and that sponge wasn't clean. Mm -mm. You've got product buildup on your sponge, on your brush. You put it into contact with your face, which may or may not have some harmful bacteria. They sit on the brush. They have a food source on the brush, so they just fester in there and then you put it back on your face. So try to keep up with washing it because honestly, if you don't, you're just causing so much unnecessary damage to your skin. You're causing inflammation, all that bad stuff that's gonna lead to more acne. My third one for makeup, that big mistakes people make that makes their acne worse, it's going to the gym in makeup. Sweating your butt off and makeup just dripping down your face. <sighs> I, see so many young girls especially showing up to the gym 5 30 in the morning full face of makeup and i'm just thinking why let your skin breathe it needs to breathe it needs to be free i know firsthand i have really bad bouts of acne still even though my acne all over my face isn't still lingering i still get bad breakouts and so i know as somebody who goes to the gym four times a week it sucks when you're having a bad breakout and you know there's a bunch of people in the gym and they can see every red spot on your face because lord knows the gym lighting is terrible 
But at the end of the day, who cares? Like, who cares? Let them think what they want. My skin, I know when I go to the gym without makeup on my face, oh, it is the best feeling. Best feeling ever, first of all. Number two, when I go to the gym with makeup, I get breakouts, I get rashes, because that stuff's not meant to sit on your face in a really sweaty, moist, humid type of environment. And so when it does, oh, it's just creating so much inflammation in the skin, so much irritation, you just don't wanna do it. And I've seen actually a couple of bigger fitness people on Instagram who have said, you know, I used to wear makeup to the gym all the time because they're like, I have to look perfect all the time for my little Instagram shots. But they said, you know, I noticed a huge improvement in my skin when I stopped wearing makeup to the gym. And I'm like, boom. The next big one, pretty big, like way up there, is too much exfoliation. And too much exfoliation can be so bad for your skin. I still remember the first time I exfoliated my face. I remember my first kiss and my first face exfoliation. <laughs> it was that good. Like it feels good to just take that dead layer of skin right off your face that's been sitting there. It makes your skin feel fresh and baby soft and smooth and perfect and awesome and like you're a gift from God. And then you want that feeling to last and you're like, I'm gonna exfoliate again tomorrow night. I'm gonna exfoliate again the next night. Or, you know, I'm gonna use more of this product that says to only use once a week. So we get this excitement about exfoliation and we know it's great for your skin. It helps, especially people with oily skin or dry skin. It prevents that buildup of dead skin in the pores that causes acne. And I get that desire, but it does the opposite thing when you do it too much because it, constantly damages your skin and doesn't give it time to heal and so now you're just stripping the skin's natural defenses and you're not giving it a chance to repair itself and i think it's pretty obvious to see how that could potentially lead to worsened acne so way too much exfoliation again it's super common see it all the time people are like i exfoliate every day with this scrub and i'm like or for another example with the exfoliation, when you have active pimples, so I have a couple of pustules right now, like I'm not talking the under the skin ones, but like the kind that actually have a head on them. You shouldn't exfoliate with a scrub on those areas. You should go around those areas if you can, or if you have just a lot of acne and you can't really avoid those areas without doing the whole face, then you can use a chemical exfoliant. So that could be a face mask like Banish's Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. That's a fantastic exfoliant, also great for acne. And you could use a, a BHA or a, an AHA type of toner that would do something similar. And the very last one that I think is like top, most common mistakes people make that are making their acne worse is over cleansing the skin. I know that we kind of all have this ingrained in our mind that acne equals dirty or acne equals unclean. And even those of us who know better, we still fall victim to that misconception. So don't think that you maybe aren't thinking of that when you're cleansing your skin three times a day. I get the idea behind cleansing, you know, if I keep my skin clean, there won't be any oil for the bacteria to eat, there won't be any bacteria, period, including the good bacteria. So I see a lot of people over cleansing, hoping it's going to clean their skin, but it actually has the opposite effect and just, again, like over exfoliation, it ends up causing damage to the skin, which impairs its ability to prevent acne in the first place. Over cleansing strips your skin of the sebum, which is slightly acidic, which keeps our skin's acid mantle healthy and that protects us from potentially harmful bacteria. It gives our bacteria a hospitable environment, our good resident bacteria. So it just creates a whole cascade of disturbing things along the line that are gonna end up ruining your skin. I see this number one, people using too much of a cleanser, just cleansing too often, too many times throughout the day. Some people cleanse once a day, some people cleanse twice. I tend to cleanse twice a day because I have oily skin and I go to the gym. But I also see it in people using cleansers that are just really wrong for their skin type or not meant for their facial, facial skin. So using bar soaps, using like a, a Dove soap bar on your face, that'll dry that face right out and it may work 
temporarily, but it's not gonna work in the long run, so you don't wanna do that. And also people just using like really stripping, drying cleansers and then their face is super tight and dry and your face shouldn't feel that way after you cleanse, so yeah. Again, you could just rinse with water in the morning and pick a gentle pH balanced cleanser for nighttime. If you wear makeup, you can proceed that with an oil cleanse to break the surface tension with a cotton pad. Definitely don't over cleanse. Sometimes less is more and your skin is not dirty just because you have acne. That was the most common, in my opinion, in my experience, some of the most common mistakes people make that make their acne worse. Going to the gym in makeup, sleeping in makeup, not cleaning your makeup brushes, over cleansing, over exfoliating, boom. Five, right there, most common. Eliminate those bad habits from your routine and you will greatly improve your acne. Question time. What's one thing you've done that's helped improve your acne a little bit? Because maybe it's that one thing for somebody else, you know, maybe it's drinking more green tea, maybe it's drinking more water or using a certain product or maybe it's a change in your mental health that you've made, you know, improving your stress levels. You know, things like that that you may not realize but have actually had a pretty great improvement inside as well as on your skin. So let me know below one change you've made in your life that's improved your acne, even just if it's only improved a little bit. So let me know in the comment section below so you'll be entered for that uh, draw to win the Banish Acne Kit. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, Leave them down below. See you guys next time. There's a hole.